Welp, week nine. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I really don't. I really don't know how to feel about this week. Let me tell you, a lot of things happened this week. A lot of crazy things happened in the NFL. Um, first of all, let's just get the Monday night game out the way because it just finished up as I'm recording. And Ref Ball ruined this game once again. How unfortunate. You know, I, I've just seen some of these clips of these refs in this Bears Steelers game. I mean, you got Justin Fields out here playing for his life. I mean, this man out here actually playing like an NFL quarterback. He's not even held back or anything like that. And Ref Ball ruins this game. Phantom taunting penalty. We got a dude running into the ref by accident. Looked like the ref was like he was just he was just ready to sit there. Just he was ready to just get ran over. I I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, let's let's go back up to Thursday night first. Um, the Colts beat the Jets. They are getting close to 500 themselves now. Um, Mike White did get injured in this game. I do remember that. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. And guess who got brought in? The Elite! The Elite! Well, not Elite. I think it was just Josh Johnson. Never mind. Scratch that. I thought it was Joe Flacco, but no, never mind. It's not. It's not Joe Flacco. Um, here's the real kicker. The way Sunday went. The way Sunday went. I was sitting here like, what? What? Sitting here like... Doctor Who just just perplexed the entire Sunday. We got the Giants beating the Raiders. And again, the Raiders, I don't know what in the world's been going on with this organization. We got guys, we got more nonsense coming from the Raiders this week. Um, I forgot who it was that just got cut. Craziness. Just pure craziness. Like, the, the Raiders, I, I really thought Derek Carr and company was going to turn it around this year. But, they, I mean... You know, things have not gone well, you know, in these types of games where, you know, you know, it's the Giants. Giants haven't been good in years, and yet you're making Daniel Jones look competent. I mean, I mean, there was like a couple bad throws by Carr, too, that resulted in interceptions. Like, this is just rough. Falcons choked away the lead against the Saints, but then won the game somehow. They out choked themselves. I don't know how they out choked themselves because I mean the Saints were going to win this game, and then the Falcons were able to say surprise. We win it, baby. We win it. And I'm sitting here like, okay, okay, this this day's gonna get even weirder. And the day got even weirder. We're talking the Jags beat the Bills. The Jags beat the Bills, man. This was this was not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Like, the Bills turned it over three times. Josh Allen threw two bad interceptions. Like, oh, I was looking at the end of this game, by the way. So, you know, that last interception he threw was just like, I was just sitting here like, that last, that whole last drive, really, by the Bills was just like, what was going on here? What was the thought process here? Team looked anemic on offense. Terrible stuff right there. Browns, like, I don't, I don't know what the AFC North is this year because, I mean, you got the Bengals smacking the Ravens, and now you got the Browns smacking the Bengals. Like, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Like, Nick Chubb went off that 70-yard touchdown run. Whoo, a thing of beauty. Baker Mayfield threw a 60-yard bomb to Donovan Peoples-Jones. Whoo, a thing of beauty. Think of beauty. Bengals didn't know what to do. They were perplexed out here. They were sitting there like, wow, what's going on? How about the Patriots? They, they took care of the Panthers real easy. Took care of them real nice and easy. You know, Mac Jones, all he has to do is play efficient. Like like these numbers I'm looking at here, 12 of 18, 139, a touch and a pick. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not something you want, but, I mean, it gets the job done. I mean, the defense for the Patriots, though. Three picks from Sam Darnold. You seeing ghosts again? You seeing ghosts, man? This, there's no way around it. No way around it. Like you don't throw three interceptions like that. 
I'll be the Patriots over 500 now. I, I did not expect this. I did not expect this at all. You know what else I didn't expect? The Dallas Cowboys get smacked by the Denver Broncos. I did not expect this. I did not see this coming. You got you got a running back tandem that combined for nearly at 200 yards. You got Teddy Bridgewater throwing, playing efficient, especially to that, especially Tim Patrick. It felt like you know he only caught the ball four times. It felt like he caught it like 15 times. Like I'm sitting here just perplexed in this game. Cowboys. Cowboys defense is still the Cowboys defense. We, we, we ain't forgot. We ain't forgot, guys. It's still the Cowboys defense at the end of the day. Just not there. Just not there. Like, Cowboys were scoreless until, what, the fourth quarter? It was rough. It was rough. Like, so many times the Cowboys had points to be able to put on the board, and they couldn't put the points on the board. Just take the field goals when you need them. That's something. That's some kind of momentum. That's something. Anything is better than going four and out. And they did it like three or four times in this game. Inexcusable. Inexcusable. You can't have that. This is why you can't over. You can't underestimate anybody in the NFL. You can't do that. Why can why 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 do we use the analytics thing? Why is the analytics thing so damn popular? I still don't get it. I really just don't get it. Why do, why do we got to do the dumb thing? It's the, the smart thing. Smart thing is to take the points. This happens a lot more in college. It's starting to get real real stupid in the NFL. We got we got to we got to start being smart here boys and girls. We got to start being real smart out here and we're not being smart. Cowboys can bounce back from this, you know. Broncos, again, this is like the first time this season they've beaten the team over 500, which is crazy to me. Like this team is like like a lot of teams are in the thick of the playoff hunt now, thanks to this week. I mean, Vikings lost another close game. You already know how it is here. You know, Lamar and company pulled some magic in overtime, and then boom, there you go. That's what it was. Like, I only watched the latter portions of this game. I turned off the Cowboys game in, like, the third quarter. Turned this bad boy on. And boom. There you go. Ravens did it again. Another thriller. It always seems like these two teams are coming into a thriller. You know, the Vikings and the Ravens. And it just so happens they combine together to create another one. Dolphins get back in the win column. That's pretty nice to see against the Texans. You know, remember that trade bait thing that was being dangled? You know, yeah, that that's that's been calmed down. Chargers beat the Eagles. I'm kind of concerned though. You know, I'm kind of concerned about the Chargers stuff because I mean they let the Eagles hang in there. Let the Eagles hang in there. Up in Jalen Hurts, you know, he he, he definitely played. <laughs> You know, better than I thought. Because, I mean... I mean, dude didn't really have anything. You know... <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, he, um... You know, Hurts had, like, what, 200 yards by himself. But, I mean, you know... He can't play every position, obviously. You know, he used to start it to Devontae Smith all day. I was just sitting here like, are the Chargers going to stop this combination? They're not going to stop this combination. Okay. That's why the Eagles were able to stay in it. But, I mean, again, you can't let Justin Herbert throw for 356 on you. Like, he threw for 356 on you, two TDs. Too easy. Too easy for the charges. Too easy for him. And in a game where, you know, I didn't ex I didn't expect things to get as bad as they did, but this was game was really, really rough to watch. You know, probably one of the games of the week. Packers, Ch Chiefs, you know, this was just, oh. Oh, boy, this was rough. Oh, boy. I'm sitting here like, okay, this game exists. This game exists because, you know, you got Jordan Love starting, and things did not go well for him. Did not go well for him at all, you know. Like, I'm sitting here like, okay, is, is there is going to be some type of improvement or anything? The Chiefs, obviously, I don't know what's wrong with the Chiefs. Like, the Chiefs are looking lost out there. Like, they, they, they should have scored more points in this game, in all honesty. But, I mean, they were able to 
They were really, they were able to get a victory out of it. You know, I mean, the score was a lot closer than you know it indicated. Because I mean, it, Packers couldn't do anything. You couldn't do anything. You had to have Jordan Love pass. It just did not work out. Like you can give the ball to Aaron Jones all day if you want to. You want know, to have Jordan Love pass. You know things. Things did not go well. And you know, speaking of the Packers, you know Aaron Rodgers still. You know, there's still a whole controversy with him. You know, with the whole COVID situation. Um, yeah, things did not go well. Things did not go well. He's losing sponsors and stuff like that. Like again, you know, he's getting berated by Terry Bradshaw of all people on, on the pregame shows and whatnot. Like things just got heated when it came to Aaron Rodgers this week. <clears throat> and I only watched this game for like about the first quarter. I'm sitting here like, wait, Colt McCoy, my quarterback from back in the day at Texas, still in the NFL? I'm surprised though. I really am surprised. If it weren't for James Conner, you know, just just beating down the 49ers. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with the 49ers. Like, the 49ers just aren't a very good team. It's unfortunate. Like, originally, I thought there was going to be four, you know, NFC West teams in the playoffs. I thought all four of them were going to make it because I thought, you know, maybe divisions are a little bit more cut and dry than you think. But now things, now it's like, no, that's not going to happen. Four Dallas are that. They're not, they're not that team. They're not the same team that went to the Super Bowl a couple years ago, obviously. Like, Jimmy G is just not it anymore. Things are just not going the way they need to be going in San Fran anymore. I mean, it's just rough out there. It's rough. And in that Sunday night game that I thought, you know, maybe Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, and not Von Miller because Von Miller's out, but I, I thought, you know, things would go better than the way they did for the Rams. Instead, instead, you got, you got Adrian Peterson, you know, scoring a touchdown in this game. You got Ryan Tannehill scoring a couple touchdowns in this game. You got Matthew Stafford, on the other hand, throwing two bad interceptions. Like, like one of them went for pick six to Kevin he was either Kevin Byard or somebody else. And the other one was just like a terrible interception. Like both of these throws were bad throws. Just rough. Just rough stuff there. Like 20 it was 21 to 3 at half. I was sitting here like, you know, this game, it, it's not that bad at at, at this point. You know, cause, I mean the Titans charged down the field a couple times on some huge drives, and then you know the pick six happened, and then another pick happened. I can't remember which order exactly. I mean things were just not they were just not good. It's not good for the Rams this week. Like I, I again the NFL has been unpredictable. You know, we're halfway through the season. I'm sitting here like, okay, what's what are these standings looking like? Standings look kind of crazy. Like I thought the Bills would run away with the AFCs. They are only a half game ahead of the Patriots. The AFC West is a log jam. It's a log jam. Like the AFC North, a log jam of teams. Like what is going on here? Like the AFC South is pretty obvious again. That one was pretty cut and dry. But I mean the Colts are gaining. The Colts are gaining. They're gaining a little bit of momentum. NFC still a little bit, you know, crazy, you know. I mean, Seahawks, you know, they're going to get Russell Wilson back. We'll talk about that on Thursday. Um, but, I mean, the Cardinals and Rams, you know, still on a collision course. I know they meet on a Thursday night in December. Uh, you know, Packers should run away with the NFC North, you know, because in the NFC North, unfortunately, for the Vikings, and unfortunately for the Bears, Things just haven't been going well for them, and the Lions are still winless. Which is sad. I don't think I'm going to watch their Thanksgiving game, though. I'm not going to watch the Lions on Thanksgiving. I'll say that right now. I might as well just skip and talk about the Cowboys game that night and the Buc and the Bills Saints too. Um, the NFC South, you know, I thought, you know, I thought, you know, maybe, maybe the Bucks would run away with it, but I mean, no, that's not it. I mean, I'm surprised the Falcons are 4-4. Four four. How are the Falcons 4-4? Four four? 
this doesn't make any sense, man. This does not make any sense. Oh, this, oh, oh, next week is going to be, this is going to be, it's going to be even crazier, I, I think, you know, the way things are. Like, a lot of division leads are going to be on the line, you know, next, well, at least one, you know, at least one division lead is going to be on the line next week that I know of. Um, and there's just going to be a lot of interesting games here, you know, next for week 10. So I'll talk about all that on Thursday, uh, Thursday evening. I know the sun goes down at like 5.30 now. I was sitting here like, wait, when I was watching the Chargers game, I was like, wait, it's only 5.30. Why is the sun going down? And then I forgot daylight savings is a thing because potatoes. I don't know why. It's still a thing. I hate daylight savings time. It, it's only 5.30 and it's dark outside. Just darker than dark outside. What the hell is that? Oh. Huh. Just darker than dark outside. I, I don't know what that is. I, I do not know why there's children outside at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I'm going to end the video right here. I'm going to end the video right here. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed week 9, by the way. Because, I mean, man, we got through a crazy week of NFL football. I, I Again, I, I'm sitting here just completely shocked at what we saw this week. So with all that being said, everybody, hope y'all take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. It'll be late around this time for the college football preview and going over the rankings because there's a lot to go over. Probably going to be like a 30-minute video again. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.